Oh, there we go. It's working. Looks like it is 1.2. I just got to stay close to Andy here. We've already got some storm surge starting to come in. We're in Cedar Key. And we're definitely working the storm surge portion of the storm. It's almost a category four. Definitely is starting to intensify. Here we go. We are doing on foot coverage now. Stay close to you, I guess, till now. <laughs> the only way to survive, right? It's so warm. Good walk out to the shoreline. Yeah. Yeah, let's regroup uh, behind our shelter here and then maybe head that way.
Right, let's go. Flag? Red tide's gonna be bad. Look at that, sir. Yeah, it's gone. won't get bad until we get some southwesterly winds in here. Hey Brian, right now we are headed down to scope out that storm surge here in Cedar Key. We don't think it's going to get incredibly bad out here until we get those southwesterly winds. Watch out for power lines. right here these trees might come down actually wouldn't be surprised to see these trees come down yeah these winds are ripping now I'm trying not to face them already
I had a Freddy here. Howdy there, sir. Howdy. How are you doing out there? It's all right. It's not too bad yet. Not too bad. No. Have, uh, have Maybe I figured going outside might boost the stream a little bit. Yeah, I'm not uh, risking rolling my window down right now. Just Good call. Up, so. Good call. Yeah, if that thing like gets stuck rolled down, I think I'm gonna have big problems. That might just be the end of your chase. Uh, quite possibly. Not. Not gonna be rolling that down. Yeah. Like, Dude, you got all the news stations here now. I mean, they're all pulling up. Yeah. This is the spot. I swear we pulled in here and everybody, everybody else pulling started in. pulling in. I, I think it's gonna hit. I think it's gonna hit here like square on. It's just heading straight here. I, think, like, I don't think there's any other. It's gonna like curve perfectly in here. It's freezing. Dude, I'm cold in this windbreaker. Stand here. All right, let's go. Already a car. I use this building as a shelter for now, but look at that surge right there. Get some of this with the other phone.
No, I got it fired back up. I want to get that my phone. Right through 
here coming between the buildings here in Cedar Key, Florida. Looking right in, that's the Gulf of Mexico. And it's going to come up another 10 feet out here in four. 10 to 15 feet, 16 foot storm surge. That's going to be the catastrophic portion of this storm. Look at all this right here. That storm surge invading the land. Very dangerous surge. See that car? That car is just getting hammered. <laughs> you think we got any? Yeah. Look at that. Got a good shot here. Andy. I think this whole area might get destroyed. Thanks for that, uh, prize. What? I wonder if we could shoot one on my phone where it's a little less right now, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's Do a little it. quieter, too, and that way we may actually... This is a sheltered area right here. debris or something or big trouble. Yeah.
out there. Get across the street here. out uh, along the boardwalk was pretty significant and uh, we are now on Cedar Key along the coastline. We're covering the storm surge portion of this. And you see what a difference it makes just a little bit inland like this. Definitely makes a big difference in terms of the wind and friction. Well, you can see the storm surge coming in here now on this side of the canal. Red 
side of the eyes, did you? Wow. It's really bad for you. Here comes the water. Don't worry. Yeah. 
This is the advancing surge. Definitely rapidly advancing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get down soon? Yeah, oh, yeah. So. Probably already a pass.
to get to the bridge again. This to be probably eight feet deep right here. Yeah. And the bird. Bird flying around. Yeah, I don't want to. Go. out to do that kind of stuff. It's advancing. to a westerly direction. Should see a 12 to 16 foot storm surge in this area here. Almost crying here, a lot of dry 
high air. Yeah, if I had to guess, it'll just be like a longer duration period of weaker winds. No, it was giving us such high hopes to Either way, well. I think we're going to be able to make the best of this. Still should be a pretty good thing. I'm just not sure we're going to get that stadium eye wall effect that we were thinking. Definitely not looking at satellite. Chevron gas lamp knocked over. What even is this? It's like a little finger, it's going out. Ben, sweet. <laughs> Hey, is it trying to wrap itself back up? There's no way that's anything. It just looks so... It looks special.
We'll say convection is still exploding, so I mean there is a chance. and it wants to get a little daylight.
going to undergo a bit of an eye wash.
a replacement cycle, and it looks like we're going to get the front right quadrant of the outer eye here. Trying to wobble, wobble to the scene, Anchi. Big surge anywhere on the right side here, folks. Another 989 kilobars. bars. Down as low as 987. It's the under pressure at. Core has a rock in dry air, almost a high wall replacement cycle that's happening here. Eccentric rings over dry air, but not going to prevent the surge. Absorb surge is going to be bad. One last check to make sure those poor cats aren't still out here.
and get to that gas station and see if it's still open real quick. Everybody's starting to bail north for safety, understandably, but I think we're still good here for now.
Yeah, the cell phone camera at the Airbnb is working, but it's not a night vision camera, so the screen is black right now. All right, I'm going to top off the change. Top off the tank real quick. We'll be right back. Where's my...
How's it going?
five guys. They literally ran it over. Nice. Yeah, I see where you're at. I'll be over there in a sec. All right. Yep, I'm coming that way. Yep, bye. That was Vince giving me a call. Somebody just ran his saw over. Alright guys, like I said, be sure to smoosh that like and subscribe button and share it. Ooh, big branch. Yeah, Brian. Um, yeah, so uh, we're at the Salem right now. We were in um, uh, Perry, but it looks like it's taking another east jog. And so, in order to get into position to get in, uh, in order to get in position for the main eye wall, we're dropping south here to Salem last second. Okay, there it is, yeah, here, here it is. is. Here it is. Starting to get in the outer band here just getting to Salem and we have an extreme wind warning in effect in the outer band of this thing. Very dangerous. But we got to get to Salem and hunker down here. I think, I think it's going to turn right at Salem, maybe Stanhatchee. Got to find a, Salem's a small town, but there is one gas station, so we're kind of banking on that. I wouldn't even call it a town. Right. <laughs> I mean, worst case, we ride it out on the highway, but... Sorry, we didn't scout this far east because uh, at the time yesterday it looked like uh, it was going to make landfall further west of this, so we're kind of just winging it. We know the surge won't be a problem over here though, so we are heading into Salem right now. And yeah, these winds are starting to rip. They're coming right into me though right now. That's what we got going here. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You got southeast release. Yeah. That's great for the gas mileage. Like, incredible. There we go. Trying to get into it. I'll put the camera back around here. It's hard to, it's hard to see. It needs, we need to get some daylight in here. Right zone? Right so they can work. Oh, we'll make it work. We'll make it better for the screen. So they can actually see what's going on here. Yeah. There we go. He's starting to rip. They just got obliterated. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Intense. You guys stop up here. outer eye wall here. Here we go. 
you guys at the gas station. They're ripping now. Oh, you guys have that, just like that line of cars right there on the other side of the road. Going now. Who's that right there? I don't know. Can't see the return though. Can you hear is the programming off? Hurricane force winds gusts. Whoa, chill, bro. Not that hot. Chill, bro. No, a little bit. Bro, just a little bit. Just in here. Just a little bit, man. We're in some brief hurricane force wind gusts in this outer band. But that's the money right there. I know it doesn't look like much, but that's where all the big wind is. Right there in the core. That's coming right at us. Just disassociated in the last game. out there. Ben says it was cold. Still not 
nothing too crazy yet, but imagine at some point it's gonna ramp up. Yeah. You gotta think so. Yeah, I mean, there's still surface winds of 100 miles an hour coming, so. At least. So we were talking about there's another there. gas station. I feel like that would be the best spot to be, like right there on that corner. There's another gas yeah. station south of here. If we had to go or south. Or we could be across the road there, actually. Across from the post service there, like Fish Creek Road. Just like chill out on that intersection. Yeah, we could do that too. Where's that at? Just down the like, uh, Somewhere like close. Something about where? Somewhere up close. I gotta find a place to pee, bro. I go intercept and peace. Dude, I'm about to do that too. The you know, winds don't look like they're picking up a little bit. I know, I'm about to go intercept out here. And Just wait till there's no wind. I mean, no rain. Go to the bathroom. Dude, I can't wait any longer. I'm like, dying out here. Bro, that heat feels so nice. problem that it did that made me change the chain so I don't know what's wrong with it honestly I don't know why it would be sparking when it's not touching anything like it's not touching the ground did you put chain foreign chain oil in it yeah I topped it off weird I, I had a real nice one and uh, what pisses me off is he couldn't have even just like peeled it out from under his car and left it on the road no he had to take it with him so he basically
eventually across the street. Winds have increased dramatically out here at Cedar Key too. I didn't even realize the outer edge of the y eye wall is right here.
us are getting incredibly strong, guys. or lightning? I know that light's flickering, but I saw a blue flash in the sky. I didn't see it. Probably in the next three or four miles where the uh, down tree is in the northbound lane. Yeah, yeah, we passed before he said it was just blocking on the northbound side. Alright guys, so we're trying to get out of the flood zone right now. Winds are definitely getting stronger and stronger. Starting to see daylight starting to peek into. It is getting brighter.
that's why. No, but I meandered up here earlier, why? Science has bridges out somewhere. No, no, it's fine, it was good all the way up to Perry. Okay, copy. I don't know what the hell that's for then. We're swerving, I don't know why. There's some small branches down, that might be what he saw, but it looks like it's been pulverized. Yeah, I just, uh, checked my, the stream at the Airbnb, it looks like Verizon must be down because the stream went down. was almost enough to take out the whole road. I think we got blue skies above us. Come again? We might have blue skies.
See, I get paranoid because your tail light just disappear out of nowhere. I'm like, great, is there a tree? Yeah, everywhere.
I honestly feel dumb for leaving right now, <laughs> right now cause that area is getting pummeled and the surge is not coming in. Right, I think that's slightly offshore flow, but the problem is like you get stranded there, you know? I'm kind of the same way. That's partially why I didn't go south, I was worried about the trees coming out. Yeah, I know, I just, I'm kind of irritated because my... Bobble to the, uh, still looking good. Well, what's it? Dang, we're getting rain in here. Gonna be coming. It's gonna be coming like straight from behind us now. I mean, we're seriously like getting daylight at like the perfect time right now. It literally couldn't be better timing. Like that inner eye wall is like over Stan Hatchie right now. Could have hit at 1 p.m. and we would have all been happy. But... It's gonna get absolutely crazy here in like 15 minutes. You really think so? Yeah. That's why I move on to the other side of the power lines. You think these power lines are coming down? Eh. Yeah, I think I think the eyes gonna go like this. Probably. I'll have to go a little bit more. Could get some great gas bombs. Oh, those clouds are moving. Dude, man. the clouds move fast. like a little weird calm patch before the actual eye wall. A little weird what? Calm patch before the actual eye wall. There usually is? This is like right here is. That's not a calm patch. This sign right here is making me nervous that one's really right there. The one literally two feet away from the car. Yeah. It's where the wind's coming out of. Well, it still seems like our... We're facing... It's like 5 o'clock. We're facing northwest. It's gonna get real! Got to worry about the sign right up my left. We're good. I'm chilling. I see the clouds moving suspiciously right here. <laughs> Those are ripping right above us. Yeah, look at that. Well, if we just see like drop shore. down right there, that'd be funny as hell. They're cooking right here. Ryan, get in your car. It's about to get serious. I'm, I want to get out. Let's watch for debris. Look at there's like a ghost train over there. I think that's like Dude. a stream wise of like insane winds. We like when I had just a mile we'd be in it. See outside? Yeah. Ryan? Yeah. We're gonna get like 75, 80 now. Cannon, get me quick and Yeah, we're winds. getting up there. I mean it's definitely hurricane force now. 
Watch Ben get impaled by a sign here. Oh yeah, we're cooking now. We're ripping. Oh yeah, here we go. Yep, here we go. That's pretty good. Here we go. It's because you unzipped it. <laughs> Dude, I like how there's like no rain right here. I can just open my window. <laughs> my raincoat's about to fall off because you unzipped it. Got everyone going north. Yeah, I think they want to go in that little that or just more in the aunt, path of the aunt. It's hard to tell where the eyes are. Yeah, look at let's go up in that. I think there's something crazy going on up there. I don't think it's much different than here. Bro, it looks like the eyes like still back over the ocean. It is. Is it not, is it gonna go north of here? They power line down. Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh yeah, debris, debris. debris. Is that a tornado? No. Look at that quickly come down. There's a lot of debris associated with that. So the power line went down behind us. Oh yeah, oh, it's God. coming down. It's getting serious. Oh yeah, power line's going down behind us. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go forward a little bit. Power line's going down behind us. It's not good. Got to move forward. Power line. Yeah, power line was going Dude, down. Dude, seen all there. that debris was like the little skull in front of it. Was yeah, like, that was weird. I'm just going to move up to this all one. All right, wait till this gas station roof flies off, guys. I'm just going to sit right here. Which which way should we film, Connor? They're going down. Power, wait, are they going down behind us too? No, they're all the way down, but this, whoa, I don't know. One of them back there did not fall off, fall down. Yeah, but that one was close. Oh, he just ran into the power lines. He just ran into the power lines? Ran into the power lines. What? I'm so confused right now. I heard a guy ran into the power lines. I don't, oh, think you, shoot. I don't think you understand. Y'all hear that? I think yeah. we should film out this window. Right? Might just stand out in it now at this point. Oh. oh. There, there's someone's debris getting lofted with that one gust earlier. I know. Like, in front of us, I see it like flying into the sky. Oh, oh. Yeah, if you see something, prepare to put that window up as fast as you can. Yeah, if this eyewall is still this far away, I think we're yeah, cooking. I wonder how bad the surge is. Yeah, I know. Back eyewall's being tight. Yeah, here we go. I just heard glass break over there. Where are they at? Hey, where are you guys at? Here's next gun. Oh, that debris flying. Oh, five hour gas station sign. Oh my gosh. Look at all the debris in the sky. There's something big coming. Big gust coming. Really? Yeah. Because there's debris hit going in front of it. No. But there's debris getting lofted out ahead of it though. This guy's standing outside with it. Where are my glasses? I need my glasses. There we go. This looks so much less impressive without the rain. 
<laughs> I, I kind of like it without the rain, though. The signs in our escape route. Okay, here it is. It's coming. It's got to be. Here we go. Getting close. Close to the main eye wall. Probably right near Sudanachi. That's the eye right here. And remember, the tiny eye. Power line's down, back behind us. The thing just keeps making so much noise. It's, yeah, so yo, should we be next to the giant thing of propane? <laughs> no, it, I don't look far enough. <laughs> he said we're up. Explodes. That'd be a good video. My <laughs> wall's approaching. All right, here comes Irma. Getting close. It's kind of like the car. I swear it's like the show right above. It's showing up that roof. Yeah. What are you guys doing up there? Chilling. Okay, Alright. Chill. Is there a sign behind me, Ben? Uh, yeah. There's a one way. Oh, watch, we're about to get blasted in four from, seconds here. Big gust. Be great video though. Dude, the roof's gonna go off there. Look at it, look at it. Look roof's, at it. roof's going off, roof's going off. Get that, get that. Yep, roof's gonna go off right there. It's only a matter of time before that roof flies off. 
Dude, that building looks weak. Dude, that, that building really is weak, weak, weak. I'm looking at this little house right here, Connor. Dude, I know it's gonna come at us. Bro, I'm thinking that's gonna come off. But I don't know how to. I don't know where to go. If I go further, then we're at. We'll look your window, Ben. If we're in further, then we're at risk for that one. If we go up there, we're at risk for trees coming down. Yeah. Like, You guys think back by you is safer than up by me? Probably, because it's not going to be as much flying debris. Is there a room by you guys? Make some room. It's rocking right now. Oh boy. Car's shaking. Down the street just a little bit. I'll be downstream of all this debris. Yeah, yeah. That power pulled down yet? No. no, it's just tilted. Dude, Shoal would be like a little bit further towards Freddy. I think he is about to move a little. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna. Maybe just like line up. Yeah. Yo, is this a tree down right here? Oh, there's a big tree down. Big right. tree I'm down. I'm just gonna line up right here with you. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Hopefully the stop sign doesn't impale us. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, look. Oh God. Here we go. Okay. Right in the path of the stop sign. Yeah, Connor's getting me killed. Yo, watch out! Power lines are coming down right in front of us, Power above yeah. us. Look at this. Oh yeah. This is super close. This, I guess. Tell Freddy there's a power line like five feet above his car. Oh my gosh. Freddy, you got a power oh. line like five feet above your car. Like five feet right yeah. above your car coming down. Right there. Is that move forward. Yeah, move forward, move forward. Like we're, we, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's right behind us. We gotta actually be careful of that. Like how far should I go? I don't know, I'm gonna move a little forward too. I can't. I have to just take, honestly, the oncoming lane because I just we can't really go on the other side. Yeah, I don't see why not. Nobody's gonna be coming this way, anyways. Here we go. Look at Shoal. Oh, Shoal! Oh, Shoal's oh, got Shoal obliterated, pounded. Dude, I kind of want to go out there. Shoal's getting pounded out here. Joel's an animal. Oh. Eyes trying to rebuild itself. Yeah, I know. I saw that. The eye's rebuilding Cannon. itself. Yeah. Okay, we know where the inner eye wall is now. Bro, it's busy. We know where the inner eye wall is now. Hey, we're still like. What is this five vehicle miles approaching from the, us? Uh, inner eye wall. <laughs> what is this vehicle? Yeah, this is pretty wild here. It's Brandon. It's Brandon Copic. <laughs> Dude, that one behind us is so sketch. Don't. Just gonna touch a power line and die. Gee, I'm just sketch about these power poles. Otherwise, I'd say we're in perfect position. Yeah, I, I could agree. I mean, there's gonna be debris down there. Those poles are probably gonna come down, but we. If it comes down to it, we might have to just like do what those guys are doing, like use this side of the road. Yeah, I don't know if I like. I mean, there's like no good spot. Dude, look at them on the camera right here. They're going crazy. I'm even like pulling that grass there, honestly, but I don't know. Yeah, we can pull in the median. True. <laughs> oh. Having fun out there yet? Yeah, that was fun. The inner eye wall is not even close to us, dude. It just rebuilt on radar. Really? Yeah. You know what I need? I need the goggles, baby. Let's go. <laughs> He's 
a Joker laugh? Dude, bro's going crazy over 60 mile per hour wind. <laughs> yeah, wait till he gets the nuts ones up here. Oh, yeah, what? It's rebuilding the entire eye wall. Oh, there's one coming, dude. There's one coming. I guarantee this line right here, right here, is nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. I don't have a good angle on these power lines behind me, so if you see something, just let me know. I mean, our angle is not much better than yours. Yeah, we got it. I think we go on the other side of the road. I think we go on the left side of this road here. Nobody's going to be coming from that way right now. Yeah, just maybe we should pull up on the left side. Like, just pull up straight ahead on the left side of this road. Half in the grass. Go for it. Yeah, I'll follow you. Now we have... Oh, okay. Yep. You're right. It's coming in hot. Yeah. Got it. Leaves being shredded everywhere. I'm just, gonna, I'm just leaving Ben. Ben's like, yo! Yeah, now this is the place right here. Yo, has that place collapsed before? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think this is safest right here. Gonna try this right here. Might be time to Yeah, step no, I like this place right here. Almost time to step out the vehicle, maybe? Gotta keep watching those poles to our right, though. charged this whole battery for hours. How's the battery low? Okay, it's not low. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're about to get legit. About to get legit here in probably a minute. Oh, it's getting real light real quick. Yeah. Still outside. Yeah, I've been still outside. I'm gonna step out. Bro, they're gonna have to get in. No. I'm fine. Dodge stuff. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty nervous. Guys, stop sign. What? Take the stop sign down. Behind us? <laughs> I was like, this thing's like rebuilding its eye wall right now, like as it's making landfall. Actually, yeah, it is. Holy smokes. We're literally like two miles from like the big time wind, it looks like. Actually, there's another eye wall in there, too. Yeah, it's about to get crazy, like in five minutes, maybe. I'm gonna stand outside for it. Go, go let it rip, bro. I don't know. No one's stopping you. Could maybe even point our car into the wind, but like, I don't know, like on the grass here or something. All oh, these people are gonna get shredded by this house. Yeah, those people are not, not, not bright. No way. Else. Thing is, it's not like the parking garage where we have a metal barrier. Yeah. A concrete like a barrier you can hide barrier. behind if something comes. Right. Charging. That was probably why. We'll plug it in. I know this is a really bad time, but I really need to pee. Dude, that back there, like 30 minutes ago, I just like squatted behind the car and peed it, like in, against the wind. Check. I might have to like. 12,000 people are looking at you right now. On reads? Yeah, we are like that.
Now we probably got to get on that main street. Wow. side of these is just getting hammered. Yeah. Hey guys, jumping in right here. Uh, so I'm going to break down kind of where everybody is right now, where the hurricane is right now, and what we can expect for the coming hours. So you can see over here, you can see that this is the radar feed. If you look right there, that's the eye. You can see that it kind of weakens for a second, and then it, it kind of reconsolidates mm -hmm. there. That's pretty normal. And let me show you where everybody is here. So if we're looking at this here, so there, there are two major parts to this, which is the storm surge, and then there's obviously the winds and the rain and, and all that other stuff. So Reed primarily will be seeing the storm surge from him because Reed is on right here, which you think that's super far away, right? But it's not if we look at this this is uh this shows off the storm surge really and if we zoom all the way out you could see that this is this is franklin out here but that's not coming towards us this is a dahlia and it's here and the strongest part of the storm surge what's right above us here and i'll go right back to them uh is really around cedar key and a couple of these other things so reed is here and then we have uh, Brandon and the Ridge Riders, they're about right here. So here's Reed, and then here are the other guys. And um, I'll keep an eye on all of them, serve it up to you wherever the most action is happening, and I'll go back to Reed now. And we, when we have things like connection interrupts that are re really going to happen a lot during the uh, hurricane, we'll just bounce around. So right now, let's go to the Ridge Riders. Welcome to being the soaked for the next 20 hours. Oh my gosh! Whoa! 
We've got dry air starting to come in now on the back side of the hurricane. We've got major dry air coming in on the back side of the hurricane. You can see it over the top of my shoulder. That's all the dry air that we have right now coming in. And I'm about to take a look at some radar and see where this thing is. It looks like it came in near Salem. And we're kind of getting an outer band here with the main storm surge coming in in Salem. Hatch, it looks like it has a major storm surge coming right up the river there as well. Big storm surge event. I don't think it reached quite to category four status when it came in. Northbound! What? Northbound! Trees down! There's a tree blocking the road on the northbound side, right lane. Okay, Brandon, okay. Got Copic here. Jumping in one more time here to show you. Actually, I need to do it on this one. Here we go. So this will give our uh, relative position of uh, where these guys are. So, so we have three chasers right now, and we have uh, the Ridge Riders. We have Brandon Kopic, and then we of course have Reed Dimmer. So Reed is concentrating on the storm surge because of course he is the you know that's one of his big things, um, as you can tell from the footage from Hurricane Ian last year. So here's Reed, and he's getting a big part of the storm surge. And, and you're thinking, really, wouldn't that be over here? The thing is, is that the, all this wind is pushing this water this way. And then on the right side of the hurricane, it, it surges it north. So when, uh, when you're just to the right, just to the east, this is where, and about here is where a super strong part of the storm surges, but Reed is right on an, a, an island out there. So as you can see above me, let's go back to him. Okay, jumping in one more time. So there's Reed, okay? And then if we look, these guys are right there. So Reed's covering the storm surge, which is uh, to the east of the hurricane, or the, I mean, it's all over, but the, the, the strongest part is, um, as you can generally see in this visualization, um, but 
uh, then we have the the Ridge Riders and Brandon Kopic that are right up next to the uh, next to the eye here, um, and so they are uh, they're getting hit with some harsh winds now. So again, we're going to go back and forth. We're going to cover this because storm surge at Cedar Key is probably not quite at its height just yet it's it's probably still going for a while so we're going to check in with reed we're going to go back to the ridge riders for a few here to get into the inner eye wall. I gotta shield myself with the door. Or just get in the car. Yeah. The brief flying everywhere. Just get in the car, bro. Just get in the car, bro. <laughs> Max wind gusts out there probably, what, 80? Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna get any more. Might be the worst of it might be going north. That was a legend. See if the center eye wall actually has any punch. Check, 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 check. About to be in the eye here. Probably 20 minutes. I think, I think we're actually gonna hit with the eye. Oh yeah, look at that surge. Right. Like go just barely on there. We'll be able to get in that. Oh! Mirror gets right on. A stick like hit me in the face. A stick in the face? Yeah. Like the screen off. Check, so here we go. Check, so here we go. Check, so so here are these guys. Who knows, could be an Ian with back eye wall as it being stronger because of what happened. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do that. Look at that milk white over there. <laughs> You want to get a little north. That's all. That's what I think we should do. Where's Ben? See you right there. Get him in the car. I don't know. He's not going to hear it. Ben! Those waters also for safety purposes. The large debris keeps coming down.
say it's about 10, 10 foot surge. I think you can fly in this area here. This reminds me of when I chased Katrina on slide L. It's just like this here on a balcony, kind of overlooking. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. That is from one of the Mesoport Radar Omega cameras right now. Make sure if you guys have Radar Omega, that's where you can watch this live feed right now. That is one of the Radar Omega cameras. The car's like, oh, shaking the car pretty good. Do we want to tilt more that way? I just love watching that ripping. And we might have to like move position here once this eyewall switches Right, we have to go north. Don't think the back eyewall is strong. Yeah, it should be alright. Might have to go north. Oh, look at all this. Oh, debris flying down. Oh, debris. here it comes. Big debris here. Here's the eyewall. Yeah, we have like up the, uh, the highway here, just to the north. Yeah, like literally just up the highway. Anybody need to go north a little? I mean, we're definitely in the 100 mile per hour range now. Full is starting to come down a little more. We're definitely gusting there. Ooh. Yeah, this is a hundred mile an hour. Yeah, I think we're going a bit now. Hundred mile an hour plus. We got some gusts. A power pole's coming down more and more. Or am I, or am I mistaken? No, it was shaking. I don't know if it. Oh, it's gonna be nice one right here. Uh, <laughs> dude, it's like an illusion that power. It's about to hit. Eyeballs hitting us. So we're about to get into the thick of it. They'll be watching these buildings here, see what happens to them. You don't want these and dust to see. Like to a right, roof just keeps getting like shredded. Yeah, no, I see that.
Would you see a black bear come running out? Oh! Is that tree just snapped? Lil? Oh. Did it. I can't tell. So we definitely gotta go north. One eye. I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna miss that. Yeah, we're gonna miss that if we don't. No, like after this, we gotta blast north. I mean, we could head up there a little bit. It's still afraid we're gonna get like debris. Oh, like, Let's drive on the wrong side of the road. Who cares? We'll just have to drive on the wrong side of the road. No one's gonna care. Right. Just walk that, uh, that building with the metal roof. Yeah, we just gotta get past that. Wait. Oh. <clears throat> Here we go. Coming at us. You streaming? Yeah. We have to make a... Hasty decision. Yeah. We Look at that. Look at how clear it is back there. Where the eye is. That's the eye? Yeah. Maybe it's more that way. No, yeah, that should be. Makes sense. I'm doing it. Alright. Go for it, buddy. Buckle up, boys and girls. Alright, if you flip us, I'll get the video. Well, we, 16,000 people are watching, so. Right, I'm going into the eye. Look how crazy yeah, fast wrong, that's going. Wrong side of the road, but. It's the middle of a hurricane, guys. Look, there's a the roof on this place, is nearly ripped yeah, off. Gotta get by this place. Connor's gonna get canceled. Look at all this sheet metal on the side. And yeah, there's too much. <laughs> the, we just hit it. Ran over. It just got hit by the sheet metal. RIP to your fender. Yeah. That's how ours got destroyed. You gotta be on this right side of the road. Dude, some of these trees are snapped over here. Yeah, I know. I wonder, if we, miss, I wonder if we missed the oh, last this wind by tree. like a few miles. We might have. Guys, just jumping in to give you a position check on these guys. So here is, obviously, here's the hurricane here. This is the eye right in the middle. They are just about, let me do it over here actually. These guys are about right here. Okay, and so they're going north uh, and they're trying to get into the eye here. Um, but you could see there was, there's down trees, there's down power lines. Um, it is a disaster. The latest is, yes, it's a Category 3. It jumped up to Category 4. Now it's back down to Category 3, still to be taken very, very seriously because of especially where it's hitting in the Big Bend here. Um, so let's, uh, let's go back to these guys. Have to go too much further to get in the eye. Wow. You gotta be able to get in the eye. Wow, these trees on the left are going nuts. Into the eye. Just let me know that right lane is still clear. Got you, I got you. Wow. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, that was that was, that was insane. That was 100 God. plus easy. That was an insane guy. Dude, I thought we were about to die. Dude. My life just dude. flashed before my eyes. The window went like in. Yes, dude, if I didn't have the window open, it probably was all right here. Your big time tree down. I think the window would have busted. Yeah, hey, be careful for that again.
GoPro's being dumb. Wow, uh, holy moly. Wow, big, oh yeah. So he can't get through that, can he? No, he cannot. Uh, right lane blocked. Yeah, he ain't getting through. Right lane blocked. Every single one of these yeah, down right here. All these trees got shredded. The right, right lane's no way. I got power lines coming down and everything. Yeah. It's getting crazy right here. Yeah, watch out. It's getting, all right, it's getting crazy here. Okay, here we go. We're coming to the eye wall. Yep. About to be in the inner eye wall here. Are you on my left? Guys, I'm like right behind you now. Okay. This dude just, the New York plate just flew past me on the left. I didn't even know if that was you. All right, we're in position to get the eye now, though. Yep, we're cooking right now. And a convoy behind us, too. Everyone saw us and was like, Follow. Everyone's like, yeah, we should probably follow them. Never stop driving on the wrong side of the road. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, on the other side of the block, we have no choice. Many leaves flying everywhere. Flashing. He's flashing up here. The guy ahead of me for some reason. So. Ooh, it looks gnarly. Pulling windows up for this one. Oh my gosh! You go with the debris. I pull your window up. Look at this. Oh, that's why. Why do I feel like the storm strengthened again? Like cars coming. I see him. I see him. I sorry. I thought you were. Still need to get a little bit north. You just gotta a few go. more miles and you're good. Yeah, we just uh, gotta go. We just gotta go for it, buddy. Just, get around we just gotta, we just gotta go. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> we got the convoy. Behind us. Big stick. Big stick. Dodge the six. Harley. We're about to be in the inner, inner eye wall. This is going to be the final place. Okay, buddy.
guys just jumping in, you could see that lots of people are having connection issues. So believe me, if Reed is up, we go to Reed. Um, other than that, we bounce around between for highlights. So you could just sit back and watch it. This is how Reed wants to stream. Um, and while everybody's kind of freaking out a little bit, I'll show you uh, the radar here. So this is, uh, let's see, actually, let's animate this whole path. Oh, I know what we'll do. Let me go here. Cut to this. Again, I'm watching all the other feeds, but I could show you guys. Here is uh, Here are the satellite photos as the sun comes up here. So let's animate this and see the clouds moving as the sun comes up. Here we go. So there you see... As it comes up, you see that bubbling convection right in the middle of the eye there. This is what's called the visible band. We could also go to uh, infrared or we could go to... Well, you know what? The Ridge Riders are back up, so let's just go to them. Boom. Jeez, I walk dude, I keep like, like we're we might be in it now low key like it keeps shrinking as we get close to it I think we have to go a little further yeah I'm gonna keep going further but I don't know it keeps shrinking as I get closer to it you all the frogs in there Jeez, there's like seven I don't know much, how much closer I can even get to the eye on radar. You want to pull over at the next uh, intersection? Like we're right in the eye, guys. I feel like we could probably call that the eye. We're right in the eye. It's just like we're on the edge of it. We got to be in the eye. Hey, remember, use your wind direction skills. Yeah. Currently hidden. I'm going to go like another mile or so, maybe. Might be hard to differentiate because it's like it's it's getting less uh, defined. Still wind blowing that way, so maybe we're on the northern edge. In the eye, really. Yeah, so these guys are trying to get in the eye, and so but you're hearing them say, "Are we in the eye? Are we not?" I can pretty much say. So here they are. The eye was larger and more defined before. They are pretty much there. Um, we'll call them in the eye probably in about two to three minutes here. Oh, look, they're just permanently bent now. Yeah. We're, 
basically in the eye right now. I mean, it's just, it's not going to be as calm as it would be if it just made landfall. Back eye wall might be more intense than the front one. Yeah, we're I mean we're in the eye right here. This is it. Oh, George. Got a stick in my tie or something. Right, we're in the eye right here. did it. It's not an impressive eye, but we did it, guys. We are in the eye. We're in the eye. Yeah, look at this. Like, we're, we're in it. Oh, yeah, I see the blue. We're in it. I mean, yeah. I mean... This is the eye. We like we. It's just not. It's not a calm eye. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, we're in the eye. We can't see anything. We made it. We made it to the eye. We made it to the eye. I mean. There were a couple spin ups. Oh, hell yeah, look at it. Sierra got it good too. Got a little, you got a mezzo board. Yeah, a little mezzo board. I like shook the truck. Dude, a mezzo board took down a tree right in front of us when we were crossing. Like, dude, I, I honestly think the back eyeball would be just as intense. There's not really much of an eyeball. Right. That dry air just ate it out. How is my car? They had to try to do that stupid eyewall replacement and failed. It looks so good like an hour. Yeah, I know. This is this is the eye in all type. Whoops. 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 Sorry about that. So yeah, you can see it's it's a bit of a chaser convention right there. Um, but you can see Brandon's having connection issues and Reed's jumping in and out. And a lot of people are confused. They're like, that doesn't look like the eye. Not all hurricane eyes have that very defined eye where you get when you're inside of it called the stadium effect. You look up, you could see a blue sky and you could see the ring of clouds around you. This, as you could see, whoops, right there, the eye kind of is closing so the eye walls collapsing and it could definitely reinvigorate but if we look there you could see the eye and then it kind of starts collapsing on itself here um reed is uh reed's hitting me up that he's working on getting his connection reestablished. Uh, so we will go back to him when we have it uh, but for right now, let's go back to the uh, the Ridge Riders.
Where's Cannon? I don't know, dude. Sorry, I'll show one more thing here. So you could see the eye and then you could kind of see a collapse here. You could see the really defined eye, then it collapses. If we zoom out and look at Franklin out here, there you could see a pretty clear eye, but you could see it's constricting as it, as it uh, keeps going. So yeah, so this is a, this is a category three Adalia making landfall. It has a kind of a weak eye wall and it seems to be collapsing on itself, but it's also these things do reinvigorate, maybe not as much over land, but that is where these guys are. So Reed is, let's go to this. These guys are in Perry. So Brandon Kopic and the Ridge Riders are in Perry. Reed is down here. He's getting the storm surge. As you saw, he definitely, it looks like he needed a boat. Maybe we could do that in the future. Back to the Ridge Riders. <laughs> yeah, whenever, whenever there's an eye replacement cycle before, right before landfall, just know you're in for a bus. Bro, I did an eye replacement cycle the whole time until like right before landfall. Exactly. Whenever, yeah. that, whenever the eye replacement cycle starts happening right before landfall, it's gonna drop like 30 miles an hour at least. Yeah. So it probably was only like a cat too. Honestly, the wind max wind may have only been cat. It's only seven fifteen at home. Gosh. Like I don't even think there's any damage to scout after this. Like honestly, it's just straight to Ben's car after this, and then really? <laughs> straight to after this last Iowa. It's like there's not be any damage besides these trees to investigate. Because nowhere think, got hit. That I, could, think, like, I don't even think the surge was that bad. The surge was like up like three feet high, and that's all. And maybe, we could have got close to it. Yeah, we could have sat up. Yeah, that's what happens when it just, you, get dry, you get dry air that just shreds it, and then try and do an eye wall replacement. Eye wall replacement and dry air is not a good combination. Because for a while there, I think it actually was 130. No, it was. Like, it, legit. it definitely was. Like, it was a legit cat forward. No doubt about it. But you don't even want to know how far away Cape Coral is from this point. Oh, like, probably eight hours. Oh, no, it's only five. But I guess to go back. It's no, I think it's whatever. But Josh Morgan. Damn, he's small as shit. <laughs> he's like five foot seven. Great, now another day of everyone being like, all the meter will just said this will be crazy. Maybe this back eye wall is like pounding Perry or something. Well, he's having extreme wind warning now. Stream. Well, it's just so underwhelming. It's like, oh. All right, gotta get this, gotta get this back eye wall in Perry. There's a lot of new lightning strikes, so it may be going for one last intensification bout. Maybe it's cooking. Kia is. Glad to see you guys are back in range. Let's go get this back eye wall. Probably the pump just down the ferry. That's the play. This guy's gonna run the tree over and fix it. I mean the man of in here. I would agree. I was sitting by Jordan earlier when I when you guys pulled up and you can at least see three of the horns on my live stream. We had one mesoboard take out a tree like right in front of us. 
Like, think about it. If we were like five seconds faster, we'd just be dead. Three fell on us. No. <laughs> Dollar General from here. There we've said that. It's this little shed. Look how sturdy it is. 
Oh, there's an eviction notice on the window, man. We can just sit next to the shack. Wires directly above us. Oh. <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah, interesting. This truly is a discovery. I might just try and make it into Perry. Honestly. I want to go to that Dixie place. Yeah. Back on the road I go. Forget about Ben, buddy? What's the worst that could happen? Uh. Big thing. That's better if you want to get the most. Look at this, dude. <laughs> I just almost left Ben. Ben, what is he doing over there? He's taking a pee. I almost drove off the <laughs> Ryan, we almost left your boy. Unlocked. It's unlocked, bro. It's you better. Dude, I almost left you. I yeah, forgot we, we forgot you were gone. You started to drive away. Bro. Like, well, I actually. You would have left me out in the mesa vortices. Wait, you saw one of them? Yeah, my service is dying. Same. Well. Connor, it's not green. Alright, now it's time to find the game. Avoid all the idiots on the road! Are you going further north? Yeah, more like avoid all the idiots, tree Dang. debris, yes, and everything else on the road. All the other idiots. No, Right, check it out. Connection issues all over the board. This is uh, this happens. That means you know we do have. I know Brandon, for example, he definitely has the Starlink backup too. Um, cell towers go down. Um, sometimes it's just the intensity of the storm that does it. But again, so these guys are. If you look above me and we zoom out, these guys are right in the middle of it here. And it's not that clean eye that, that a lot of people expect, at least not this one. It kind of collapsed um, as it, it was collapsing and then it really collapsed as it got to land. And now it's, uh, it's definitely still strong winds, especially on um, the backside of the eye wall or... Hold on, let me get a new thing here. Right, so this, if you look above me, this is the backside of the eye wall. You can see it's not a very strong eye wall, but it is strong back here. So these guys are probably going to be getting there soon. Um, but you could see we are having some connection stuff. But Stand by one second here. What else could we show? We do have. Uh... Sorry, stand by. We can try this lane again. 
the side. Yeah, I'm gonna try this side. It's true, big, win, big, win, big, win, big win, big win, big win. Look how bright it is right here. Nap, yeah, I'm gonna pass and go to this uh, thing right here. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh, that's going up. There it goes, oh. there it goes, there it goes, hold on. Side's about to cross the road right here. I know it's about to break off any second. I wanna cross it and it breaks off. Send it. Yeah, I can quickly send it right now. Or oh, well, I can just sit here. Send it. Just send it. It's not gonna... We have to do it before big dust comes. Go for it. Ready, send. The fire marshal. Welcome to the back eye wall. Probably not. I think he was on the Took off that side. gas station just got shredded.
just jumping in, showing you guys, um, Reed is able to upload a, a couple of things here. So this is this is the storm surge where he is. Right, so that's Cedar Key, and it's obviously very intense there. If you guys want to make sure that you see all that footage, high quality, 4K and all that, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we'll edit it together and give you a big summary of, of what happened. Um, so uh, also like the stream if you don't mind. Uh, back to Brandon.
once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and smooshing that like and subscribe button. water. saying I got a quick update from Reed saying they're regrouping. He's getting his connection back up. Um, believe me, I know people want to see Reed on the stream here. <clears throat> but they're getting their they're getting their act together. Once they get it back up, the footage should be pretty insane from what we're seeing uh, him post on Twitter. But for now, let's go back to Brandon.
I've got to have a piece of free still stuck in here or something. Sheet metal. Once again, thank you all so much for tuning in. Just be sure to smoosh that like and subscribe button. How is this traffic light like working? Wow, I can't see anything. That's white out. Again, thank you guys all so much for smooshing that like and subscribe button. All those of you that have donated um, through Super Chats and Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App, I apologize. I have not had a chance to look at all that.
my gosh. A tree just fell and I missed it. just fell off my left here. Nope, 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 nope. Guys jumping in, another update on Reed. He's good, he's fine. He's also uploading something to our YouTube channel right now. Um, sometimes that's just the, the, the best way to do it. <clears throat> so once that's up, um, you guys could go over, you could check it out, but I'll also probably put it on right over here so you guys could see what Reed is seeing and then he's gonna be back live shortly and they're gonna try to have this storm surge, uh, see how quickly it subsides where he is, and then they're gonna uh, get off of, uh, of Cedar, Cedar Key.
Wow, holy crap. pretty intense guys, without a doubt. explains a lot. I didn't realize I was getting on the north side of town. I thought that I was just getting into town, so I guess I gotta flip around here. Thank you so much for your donation. If it was Matthew... Melissa. Melissa, big old moo for you. Thank you so much. We're still in Perry right now, still in Perry.
P.S. A big old move for you. Thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you guys all so much for your support today. Once again, I apologize. I have not had a chance to check the PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App donation. Yes, yeah, so we just uh, we just posted this video on the YouTube channel. Uh, this is uh, and it's upgrading right now. It's in HD. Probably in about ten minutes, it'll be in 4K. That's how YouTube uses. But this is fresh out of the oven. Um, I can just play it for a few. I can't really reroute the audio uh, to you guys. But you could check this out on the channel. You can see this is a huge storm surge in Cedar Key. Just these places on stilt homes even getting wrecked. Um, that I will, uh, I'll take the link and I'll pin it in the chat. Uh, but definitely go check that out and then come back here. But we could see that this is the bridge. And here's the storm surge coming up over it. And there are the guys in that water there. So I'm going to put this up. I'll leave Brandon up for a few moments. Oh, Reed's back. Ocean of that storm surge out here as the hurricane came ashore. It made landfall very just to the north of Steen Hatchie. Unprecedented storm surge here on the nature coast. But you can obviously see the big storm surge flooding here as far as the eye can see. That's the big danger, I think, out here because of such an unprecedented storm here in Appalachia Bay. And that happened, and uh, that has unprecedented impacts. And that's what we're getting right now out here at Cedar Key, up toward Horseshoe Beach. Also, a very dangerous storm surge that happened off to the north. And uh, just the debris and once this water subsides we're going to be uh, left with some heartbreaking scenes of damage and just can show He's an expert on the signs. Yeah, you could definitely see a cedar key. Looks like a bladder right there. There. Is that a waterbed? A lot of debris out here, isn't there?
Boy, Andy, this is intense, isn't it? Yeah. Time to get your bird in the air. <laughs> you ever seen a storm surge like this? Oh. It's even bigger than Irma, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, that was made at the casino. They got pretty deep. Yeah. It was just like fine space. This is definitely a 10 foot storm surge. That's for sure, don't you think? I think it's a good idea we move the vehicle. Can you imagine? That's going to be our only way to charge them probably for the next few days. You think we're going to be stuck out here for a while? Uh, three days. I think three days. Three days? I think we're going to get right off. You think so? Yeah. Andy and me, uh, we're up on like the third floor right now, so plenty of space up here, but down below. Those first and second floor units just got ravaged by a storm surge, and you can see a lot of debris down there. The condominium complex right next to us definitely is uh, taking on water, being totally inundated by storm surge flooding. This might be one of the more significant storm surge events that I've covered since Hurricane Katrina, for sure, uh, being out here at least at Cedar Key. And uh, a lot of this area around the Nature Coast is not incredibly populated, but those People that do live out here, including the beautiful Cedar Key area, have a lot of damage from this storm surge. So just heartbreaking to see. It's a beautiful community out here. Uh, this is actually the second oldest city in Florida history, the leading uh, harvester of clams as well. Uh, beautiful Cedar Key. But you can definitely see a lot of the damage. We got the bird in the air. We walked over the bridge across the other way to try to sample some of the, uh, to feel some of that surge. And it was just so aggressive up there. We weren't able to make it over to the boardwalk. But it looks like a lot of those structures are still standing. We still have gusty westerly winds that are obviously piling up the water as the hurricane intensified to near category four strength. But right now, Andy and I are waiting for the storm surge to subside so we can go mobile, catch back up with the center of the tropical cyclone, and maybe chase the tornado threat that's happening today across the front right quadrant, southeastern Georgia, eventually spreading into the South Carolina low country. But I just posted a video that showed the peak storm surge out here, but it's still going up, isn't it? Oh yeah, that is doing like Seems like it's still going up as we're approaching high tide. Uh, we're past low tide, the tide's coming in right now. So that coupled with the strong onshore flow, you can see the debris that is out here as well. Well, it's a lot inundated. You can definitely see that the predictions were accurate, weren't they? I got a pain on the right side of my belly button. It's got to be a gas, right? Sun, it feels like the sun's about to come out. The dry air kind of coming around the back side of this tropical cyclone. It almost forced an eyewall replacement cycle as he kind of had a ring of convection around the inner eyewall and it tried to constrict it out, squeeze it out, but then it ended up making landfall just to the north of Steen Atchie. And that brought in the very strong westerly winds offshore here into Cedar Key. Major flooding. 
Thank you, Brian. Yeah, this storm surge just continues to rip by the area here. One of the more prolific storm surges I've ever seen, and it just continues. It's not as powerful now because the winds have subsided a little bit, but those structures, the condos on the other side, were taking a beating on the other side. Be right back. I got to respond to AccuWeather really quick here, folks, but we're going to be right back. still nearby. You want to go on a little adventure with me? Back to Airbnb. Yeah, I just checked the surge. It's not there, so I want to see how it fared. Oh, oh man, I'm losing my head. Town here for a little bit, but yeah, I was going to go back there at some point. Well, I just want to run over there real quick and check because I intend to just keep with this and I didn't want to let it get too far away. Plus, if we wait too long, they'll probably start shutting down the entrances there, too.
about all across Mount Seymour. There's a crappy building over here, a guy standing at the door. I uh, gave him a thumbs up, he's okay, gave me a thumbs up back. I think the second, I don't know if the second eyewall is going to impact us here. If it is, it's going to be soon. Somebody's really trying to go through the drive-thru at McDonald's right now. Are you kidding me? Kid you not. I hope it just bounced up at the perfect time. Are you kidding me?
say, I mean, delivery's got to be made, right? Oh, it's awning gone. Ooh, jeez. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty dramatic. Oh, this is gonna. There it is. Scrape. Not that I see, no. What the heck? Watch out for the power line. You're going to have to swerve to the right like I did. I almost caught it. Alright, now I'm going to hang back here. Go thing it out here. Guys, we are in Perry right now, Perry, Florida. This town got absolutely walloped. Dude, there's a huge tree down here in the road. Holy crap. why you always got to be ever vigilant. Thank you. 
All right, guys, we're going to head south over towards where the Airbnb was, see if it's still intact. We'll see if we can even get down there. Too many trees down there. Ain't much we can do about that. Or power lines. The power lines are hanging over the road. There ain't nothing we can do about that. And the first opportunity there is, there's a power line down here. Oh, it's a telephone line. It's not a power line. There are just trees down left and right. Corey, you got a copy. Nope, can't get by. Wait. Uh, no, I'm not. I could honestly. Oh, that's another telephone wire. It could have been a lot worse is what I can say, but it's still very bad here, guys.
don't think we're gonna be able to get all the way down there. Really don't, unfortunately. But we'll give it a shot. Looks like there's no getting by up here. Start working maybe the tornado potential in the front front right quadrant of it but we're also very concerned about that boardwalk area out there it does look like there's some damage on the building to the right of the one with the green roof but we still do have coming in big breakers as well You can see um, Main Street on the other side. You still see the white caps out there. That's where we deployed the surgenator sensor. Certainly the persistent onshore flow out here is keeping the floodwaters high. Reminds me a lot of the hurricane we chased in Venice, Louisiana in 2020. 
where we were a little bit removed from that category three hurricane, but I had a major storm surge, had to wait all night for that to subside. So it definitely takes a long time when you get those prolonged westerly winds on the backside of these tropical cyclones piling up the water. It seemed to try to go through an eyewall replacement cycle right as it arrived in Appalachia Bay. And that may have prevented it from getting up to a category four or even a stronger storm than that. But the storm surge was pretty set in stone. You knew it was gonna be a significant storm surge out here along the nature coast and beyond. Now it's gonna be shifting to the tornado potential with that tropical cyclone as it's moving through southern Georgia. Wow. Estimates were correct. What? Highest recorded gust of carry was 100.6 miles per hour. My 101 was pretty correct. Were they having an advanced tornado? Fine. Bro, I don't know what to do. Oh, you're to me about Intercepted about 12 tornadoes. <laughs> Add it to your count, man. <laughs> Bro. Oh, big trees must be down up here. We got a tree down. Cannon, I posted the video of me in the hurricane, and some chick named Jenny is woke and believes in equality for all commented, This is why women live longer. Bro, what? Wow, both sides of the roads blocked at the same spot. What a horrible coincidence. How did a tree even get blown down in that direction? Her bio is anti... Yeah. You're still on stream, though.
all the money was protecting them. Low end cap. I just asked if you were a stray. A what? A stray. A stray what? It's like a random person. We are still up here at Cedar Key. I would estimate about a 10 to 12 foot storm surge out here. Uh, this ground is probably five to six feet above sea level. We had about six feet of flood water ripping right down the middle of that. So I'd estimate about 12 to 13 feet in terms of total storm surge above sea level. And that had waves on top of it flowing pretty rapidly in here. And uh, the Gulf of Mexico started inundating the entire area. So it definitely looks like a Cat 3, Cat 4 storm surge to me, even removed from the center all the way up and down the Nature Coast, a relatively unpopulated area, but definitely some big time surge still flowing, and it's flowing out, I think, as it's starting to come down a little bit. You can see a lot of the debris that was left behind from that too, a ton of debris out here, but we're just waiting until the flood waters subside enough so we can get back to our vehicle, which is stashed at higher ground. And then we can get back in this thing and start chasing this tropical cyclone, including the tornado threat that's really going to materialize today across southern Georgia and uh, possible uh, into the South Carolina low country as well. But probably at 80 to 90 mile an hour winds here, a weird tornado siren too that was constantly blaring during the hurricane. Water, of course, is shut down. A lot of these condos took a beating during the hurricane. You can see debris barges that are still floating out here. And it's good to see all the mobile storm chasers that chose the mobile path to chase this. Still able to keep up with the center of the tropical cyclone. We're stuck here for a little bit as we decided to work the storm surge of this hurricane. That's really the most dangerous and life-threatening part of these hurricanes and they make landfall. You get the storm surge, a tsunami-like wall of water that comes in. It has waves on top of it. And I do believe we, we might have even had a 10, 15-foot storm surge out here, but you have to come out and do the damage survey afterward. We still have a lot of the westerly winds piling up the water out here on Cedar Key. The flooding is definitely you out here it's not as much of the wind or the tornadoes it's definitely the flooding and it continues to roll we've been awake since before sunrise that's when it came in like a tsunami like wall of water you definitely are worried about the people that might be in those low-lying areas that maybe didn't evacuate some of the lower floors as well
Just hope everybody's okay out here in Cedar Key. The storm surge sensor is deployed out beyond that stop sign. There's a little park right around the stop sign back there that we deployed on a basketball hoop. Hoping to get those back as well. The storm surge sensor, we use the sonic probe as a reference. And you need that reference pressure when you're trying to measure the pressure weight of the water and the storm surge that comes in. I just hope that that data was recorded on the SD card. So AT&T was out in that other town, so I didn't have service while we, or I had a little bit of service while I was, while I was in a, didn't have much service while we were in the eye wall there. Now I went up all night, so I just took a little power nap, I guess. Did I have to turn at any point, or is this road just taking it down? Oh no, I see lights. Semi, bro. You're lying. Get off! <laughs> right now, we're headed back towards the Tallahassee area to see how that area was impacted. We're heading straight into a semi in oncoming traffic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, oh, yeah. he was cooking too. We were like dead. <laughs> There's another tree down too. Like chasing Dixie. Yeah, dude. I'm just trying to like get back to Tallahassee now and not going great. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, dude, out here in a muscle shirt during her. Reads? <laughs> yeah. About bad. Are we on right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm. Who made fun of me? Oh <laughs> guys, a dude's wearing a muscle shirt and Trying to like <laughs> dodge these trees and not get stuck in the media at the same time. Oh, it's not a fun game. I want to feel the full impact of the hurricane. Okay. <laughs> that uh, means we're in a tank top and I wear a tank top. Yeah. Earth to Freddy. Earth to Freddy.
like so sucked much. off by the tornado. I don't know. Then just like no, but that was crazy the eye wall guys. I'm, I'm really mad we didn't have good service there. The AT and T tower was just like down there or something. I don't know. Like Verizon wasn't up the tower. Was that was insane. But we got some good video of it, so. Maybe we can send a Brian away or something. It's rough. Pulled the all nighter last night, guys. I think the last 48 hours I've slept for three hours, two hours. Dude, I'm mad. My my so. strain my strain did terrible today. Like, it was one of the worst strains I've ever had. I think it's because there's so much traffic or what? I don't even know. Like, How many people do you think were streaming like a hundred? Yeah, hours? but like usually so, I just like usually I carry my own weight at least. Today it was terrible. You had a good one yesterday. Yeah, more I, I had more I had more viewers yesterday. Just driving around, yeah, driving around, around about random yeah, stuff. Yeah, then I did that like they're in the eye wall. I was like, it doesn't even make sense. Could have been the timing too. Right, I guess it was two a.m. So we started at like 4 a.m. But it was the same for everybody, so that doesn't make sense. Either. Yeah, that's true. YouTube just decided to be against me today. Earth the Freddy, Earth the Freddy. I guess oh. we're, we're kind of like working away all here. Are we actually? I mean, yeah, the wind's picking up again. Man. Enough of this hurricane. Yeah, pressure's dropping again. But I don't even know how, because like we're so far away from the uh, Dude, though, I keep drinking the bottle of water, it makes me more thirsty. Like my mouth feels worse every time I drink it. I think it's called starvation. Side effects of starvation make you feel more thirsty. Yeah, look how much just meat to eat. Yeah, nothing to eat. Nothing good anyway. What do you mean? Well, here, uh, first. Hey, if I have more fruit snacks, then I have like diabetes. Just eating pure sugar. What about your ravioli? Hey, <laughs> maybe I'll yeah, I bust open a cold ravioli. Yeah, Pray for me, Dragons. Yeah, maybe, Melissa, that might have been the case. How long do you think Reezy be trapped there for?
Corey Acton's with him, too. Yeah, he's got a fighting chance with him along. That guy is uh, the guy who was trying to get through. all the lines are down and there's a yeah I see what you're talking about yeah there's really not much you can do about that unless there's is there a line down in that brush there yeah the, right next to you this uh, is the power line from the other side of the road ah uh, darn good to back up yeah you're good you got a ways keep going keep going you're good you're good keep going keep going keep going you got like a foot Power lines draped down on the other side. There's power lines hanging like right over the center of the road, so there ain't no way to there ain't no way to do it. Ain't no way to do it. I was like, well, I could, but it's above, and then there's another dangle below. Yep. Yeah, we're trying to find a state route. I know there's more than one, so we're heading that way now. What's that? Be Hopefully. guys so at this point we're just trying to get to the shore right now Len thank you so much a big old move for you thank you so much for your super chat there is a back road that I went on earlier if it's not flooded Yeah, I think it's down uh, down 19 or whatever, a little bit further. But it is a boat on gravel back road, but if it's not flooded, we'd be able to make it. Yeah, I know. I mean, you can be, you know, you can try it. Worst case scenario, you just got to use the highway.
everybody. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. I don't know. I think it was black. Have you heard from Don at all lately? No. I need to figure out a plan because uh, I gotta ship that star. I, I ordered it and paid for it, but I left it with Best Buy. I left it open. I kind of want to ship it up there and get it. I need to look at the weather and see if I need to ship it home or ship it up there where I need to ship it. Yeah, I don't know where Corey's at right now, guys. I asked him if he wanted to come with me to go check on the Airbnb. He said he was going to stay up in uh, Perry. You're fine.
I can't even say how freaking tired I am right now. Yeah, I'm gonna probably be down here a couple of days. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna follow this all the way up into the Carolinas. It's gonna be too hard to keep up with it. Is that power line from earlier? I hit it because I was. I think that was the one because I hit it. I pulled over to the side of the road because there was somebody in the road, and then I smacked it. Chonker. I know I'm not more talkative than I usually am. It's, uh, or not as talkative than I usually am. It's been an exhausting day without a doubt. Without a doubt. On little to no sleep. I bet you Interstate 10 is going to be all sorts of screwed up with trees down. I know, that's so why I'm really not in a huge hurry to get out of here because they're not going to be able to find anything. Almost be easiest to go south maybe an hour and a half or so. That stuff will probably be open first because I think everything all the way up probably past Valdosta is going to be closed for days. Yeah, but I'm sure Gainesville will be good at least. But they didn't really get anything. Hey guys, jumping in for a second here and just showing you the latest. These are the, uh, this is the satellite visible. If we look this way, we could see, you could see really closely in the eye all that convection going up right there. And you can see it's very much a huge, huge storm. And in a few minutes here, we're going to have uh, Tracy Fanara as kind of our resident 
hurricane expert. She's going to jump in here and, uh, and going to uh, give us a bit of the local perspective too, because she's also down in Florida. Uh, but anyway, and uh, Reed is still working on that connection there. Looks like he'll be back up soon. Um, and so for now, let's go to uh, let's go to the. Should we go to the Ridge Riders? Let's go to Brandon for a few more. Be right back in a sec. Thank you, Mystic Bunny Lady. $10 for gas money. Much appreciated. And welcome all new members to the stream, um, to the channel. If you're a member, you also get uh, Reed's forecast streams where he really dives into, uh, I mean, he's, he's the best storm chaser in the world. He dives into why he's going, where he's going, what he's doing. So, you know, if you watch those and Reed announces that he's coming to your town, you know, hey, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should head out of town for a couple of days. Uh, but then you could also get some exclusive posts. You get emojis, you get things like that. And it also just helps, helps us to chase and helps us to uh, put together these streams. Um, so consider it. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. It's much appreciated. Um, back to Brandon.
like I'm fingers down there. Oh, I forgot to tell you, guess who I saw today? Kyle. Humphreys. Oh. Well, I'll take Spree Studios over the other company after that. Oh, yeah, I know. I just thought it was funny. He rolled up next to me and rolled his window down while I was sitting over by our Airbnb. And, uh, the church should be coming up here. Um, and I was like, well, what do you know? He was like, what? And I was like, me and Vince literally were just talking about how you fell off the face of the earth. Does he have a different truck now? No, he said the reason why he fell off the face of the earth is because he got into a car accident in Hurricane Ian, and he hasn't made, his vehicle hasn't been repaired until now. Is this the road? Yeah. I think we went down this yesterday. I'm pretty sure this is the road that I took. Yeah, I'm 95% sure this is the road that I took to get there uh, late last night. And it turns to gravel. I'll tell you right now, this ain't happening. Well, hold on. This, let me see how tell you if this is the tree or the lines. Uh, I'm afraid if we pull that tree out of there, the lines are going to drop. What do you think? I've got a working saw now. We can cut some of those larger branches out of the way and just go on the left side. I don't know if I'll fit, but I can try. I was actually, this, it's already caught. I was just going to hook a tow rope to it and pull it back. Well, I mean, you could do that, but we can always just cut the few edges here. That way we know for sure it doesn't drop. Let me look at these lines. So we don't know if they're active or back feeding. I'm at that point in the YouTube journey where it like gives me like a month slimmer of hope of good performance and then it'll just like just absolutely just destroy it.
Oh, I gotta dig into this Red Bull. There were too many power lines embedded within that freaking tree, so we couldn't exactly cut it. And if we did, the, the power lines would have still been in the way, so it would have made it increasingly difficult to, uh, to actually be able to get through.
Well, it looks like Cedar Key is starting to recede, and obviously Horseshoe Beach is just gone. continuing south right now guys we're uh, going to check on the probes and I in particular am trying to get to the Airbnb to see how it see how it made it I think it survived so I think that is the good news Hey guys, just jumping in. Um, if some of you guys are like, what, what's going on? If you really want to see the best of, of what we got on the, well, we got some of it on here. Uh, look at the latest video on Reed's channel here. We'll put a link to it in the chat there. Uh, that shows the storm surge on Cedar Key, which really got hit extremely hard. Um, and if you're really into storm surge footage, also look up the Hurricane Ian storm surge because that was a Category Five too. So we're gonna stick. We're gonna stick with these guys because there's still there's a lot of damage around here too. So we're gonna do kind of a damage survey with these guys, um, and then we'll be back for a bit. Still waiting for Reed to reestablish contact here. He's okay. He he and Andy are totally fine. But you can see right here, there's just trees down everywhere, uh, inland a bit. So inland a bit, it's a lot of trees, property damage, of course. And then on the coast or the barrier island, or barrier islands, the islands like um, like what Reed was on, that's the storm surge where it was crazy. So check out that video. It looks like Reed is actually back here. Hold on. Yeah, so there's there's Reed's feed on Cedar Key. Uh, they are waiting for this to go down. Let's see if we could bring them up here. Clap rate. Well, we are still up here, still on the balcony, still a lot of floodwaters. As the westerly winds behind uh, Hurricane Adalia that made landfall as a Category 3 are still piling up the floodwaters. That's still several feet deep out there, probably three or four feet deep. And that's an area that's probably three to five feet above sea level normally in the middle of that road. So we're still dealing with a storm surge of like eight or nine feet out here. Uh, the boardwalk is still getting hammered. And there's been a lot of septic tanks that have floated by, so we're not really sure about going into the... Uh, 
into the floodwaters here, and that's for sure. Uh, but definitely our, our plan was to work the storm surge of this landfalling tropical cyclone because the nature coast here is so concave and, and so prone uh, for the storm surge as well. And then it went through that eye wall replacement cycle right at the end where it squeezed out the inner and the large ring that the inner eye wall around it. And that actually widened the wind field and made for an even worse storm surge out here across Cedar Key, up toward Horseshoe Beach, up toward, toward uh, Steen Hatchie as well. Uh, uh, just got hammered by a time storm surge. And we're also not sure about the bridges in, uh, in the area, Cedar Key. We're wondering if some of those bridges might be impassable and damaged from this 10 to 15 foot surge. But you can already start to see the sun coming out. Look at it shining on some of these waves on the surge. But it's just taken a long time for this to go out to sea with the elevated uh, sea levels and also the westerly winds just continuing to pile this up. But this area here, Got hammered pretty hard. We saw that surge come in right at about sunrise. Just after sunrise is when it really started to peak. It's good to hear that Brandon and the Ridge Riders are dominating the mobile portion of this chase. And as that tropical cyclone moves inland, I think that the threats really start shifting toward the tornado potential across the South Carolina low country. And uh, this possible, some of the long range models we're showing this tropical cyclone moving back over the Gulf Stream, maybe sagging off to the south and possibly retrograding all the way back again to the, uh, uh, to the Florida Peninsula. Uh, I've heard, you know, even though I haven't seen myself, but I've heard that some of those forecast models have backed off of that prediction just a little bit of that uh, tropical cyclone pivoting all the way back around and then hitting uh, the Florida Peninsula once again. Gotta wait until these waters subside, and you can see the debris out here too, piling up in certain areas. Once this uh, water begins to subside, we'll know a little bit more about what's happening, but you can already see some breakers here with another surge. And the water is out, so I'm gonna be having to go get a bucket and bring up some of this flood water just to get a couple of flushes in on the toilet. Uh, but we are gonna be stuck up here for a while, just a significant storm surge out here similar to that surge that kind of came off of Pontchartrain with Katrina over Slidell, similar to Hurricane Irma as well, just a very significant storm surge. Hurricane Ian, of course, we had the big winds at the same time as the storm surge. On this one, at least out here in Cedar Key, a lot less in the way of winds, but a big wall of water that came in, a tsunami-like wall of water with this hurricane. And uh, now our plan is to try to catch back up to it, but very likely we're gonna be stuck here for several more hours just watching this water flow by. And I spoke to our Airbnb host out here, and she said that her relatives are trying to get out to an elderly woman that rode out the storm. I guess that they're on the other side of the island and they aren't able to get in yet because of all these floodwaters, especially below about 4th Street. Uh, this is 1st Street that you see right here. Second, of course, is completely flooded. I thought I just heard a vehicle vehicles into safety but they are out here searching to see if anybody was in need just an incredible fire department out here in cedar key but i'm going to continue delivering these updates from our shelter here as we are surrounded by big time floodwaters with hurricane idalia moving through thank you everybody for following this live stream and we hope everybody is okay but i'm going to have to head down there and bring some of these floodwaters up to get a couple of flushes so I've got to go to the bathroom up here, folks. But hopefully everybody's okay. Never stop chasing. Up there, too. Wow. Yep.
I did fly the drone, but ended up crashing it. But up near Peak Surge, we were able to get a couple of flights in around the skies here. But please bear with me because I got to go to the bathroom. I have to find a bucket first off. Should be able to easily find one of those. Oh, another wave coming in here. As uh, right out there is the big, you can see some of the damage that occurred. Some of these condos, we're going to have to get out to the See if I can get the PTZ camera. So I'll back up and hand the camera for you guys. Where's my PTZ remote? It's a real question.
looking for First Avenue South. Yep, no, nope, we're not getting there from this direction. Uh, it goes up in elevation north. I wonder if we go right on one of these roads, we can go up and then over and down. Yeah, probably. Man, that is a lot of water. Yeah, the water line is even farther. Like, back that last one we were at, it was probably like three feet deeper. I'm gonna go north here, see what we can find. Technically that was a road, but I don't really know that it was. You're looking for what? I said technically that was a road, but I'm not sure that it was. I'm taking this other one up here a second. It's probably a golf cart path. We have to go south here, but it looks like it's flooded down this road. Oh yeah, big time flooding. Well, it looks like this road isn't flooded so far. I'll see what it looks like on the other side. Did you go right and left? Yeah, right, and then it curves. Uh, no, holy freaking flood. I think I'm on a different one. I think I got a clear road. I'll let you know. I think Rigsby or something's out here filming an ass live in the water. Yeah, you bought a flashing light. I don't think that's Rigsby. That's somebody else. They're just walking through the water. Well, uh, well, 
I guess it does help because if we go up 51, we can go up to Sugar Hill Road. That was the original road I was intending on taking. Yeah. Wherever you are, it does not even show off a road on the map. I think I turned one road too soon. I'm just driving in circles, dude. Same. That was a freaking slide, but I don't think it was going to stop sliding anyway. <laughs> What's going on up there? Is that not an option? Private road with a camera on it, and then there's a sign back there that says we shoot. But it looks like it's just a driveway. All right, guys, in a second here, we're going to uh, bring in Tracy to uh, help us get the expert and the local opinion here. Uh, hold on one second. Tracy Finara. Hi. So good to see you. Likewise. How's, how is it? Where are you exactly? I am in Tampa. And do you want to see, see the situation here? Uh, sure. Yeah, I can take it right outside. So we... We had a peak at around 5 a.m. I got up to drive around. By the time I got back at 6, the water was all the way up to the to the front door. Um, so I, the salinity is about, I would say, like 15 right now. But as you can see, it is a river situation here. Like, I thought it was really funny that the neighbor put this no-wake sign up. But it's, it's serious. He did it on purpose because this road is known for flooding. And when people drive down here really, really quickly, you can actually get awake. So it's it's crazy. And then we have, we're going to get high tide around 145, 130. Mm -hmm. And so judging by the salinity of the water, we still have a lot of salt water in here. So we might get this water creeping back up towards the house. Wow, and so that's that's all the way down to Tampa. So this is where yeah. Reed was, which which was about right here. Uh, the other guys were about right here, and you can see Tampa's down here where Tracy is, and you can see the streets are flooded there, no wake zones, uh, all that good stuff. So uh, I don't know, as a as a local resident, uh, what do you think of Adalia so far? Um, that was pretty scary to see that it, I mean, the models were leaning towards the fact that we would get that storm to be a category four, but when it was actually happening, my heart was just breaking for Cedar Key. It's a small town. 
Uh, there's so many there's so many important buildings there that are doing such important work as far as research goes. Um, one of them, University of Florida, very close to my heart. Uh, and I just just seeing the footage with everything inundated was just heartbreaking. Yeah, did you see Reed's footage from Cedar Key? Uh, I put I shared it. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, nuts. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's crazy because down here everybody thought that things were going to be the same as Ian and Irma, where we were on the west side of the storm, and all that water just was pushed out to Tampa Bay. Everybody was fine, uh, but as soon as I realized that this was going north of us. It, being on this side of the storm was not going to be easy, no matter how far away in Florida it was. Gotcha. So then what do you think? So what is, uh, if you've been through something like this before, what do the next hours and days look like? Messy. Uh, messy. As soon as that water recedes, every, there's just litter everywhere, um, which is, you know, a good lesson for everybody to learn everything that we put on our lawn and in the streets ends up in our natural water bodies. And then sometimes it spits back up at us. Mm -hmm. um, but but a lot of people might be worried about red tide blooms. We know that they're, you know, we have a toxic species of algae called Karenia brevis in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the toxin is responsible for mass wildlife fatalities, but it can also aerosolize. It attaches on to sea salt particles in the air and moves on shore, basically causes respiratory irritation. But if you have COPD or asthma, it can be really serious. So hurricanes like Ian and Irma were connected to or correlated with the initiation of blooms um, that that caused more devastation, especially for Fort Myers after Ian. Uh, so um, the question is, will this storm start, you know, another red tide bloom? Gotcha. Uh, in are in these... my opinion, and I wouldn't say for sure. And these are like harmful algae blooms. Is that the same thing? Yeah. So okay. it is. It is one of the harmful algae blooms. Of okay. Algae. I worked on a shark show that we <laughs> we figured out at one point that rising shark attacks around Galveston, which never had shark attacks, it ended up being a result of fertilizer from the Mississippi all going down and then dumping into the Gulf of Mexico, severe algae or harmful algae bloom, um, was then pushed West towards the coast of Texas. And so that killed a bunch of the fish there. And then that meant the sharks went further there and that led to shark attacks over there. So, um, I mean, that's my only, that you're the expert. I, that's all I know about <laughs> harmful algae blooms. Is that how I met you? Is that the episode that I Oh, yeah, on? maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this all sounds familiar. Yeah, this maybe that's how we met each other. sounds real familiar. Yeah. Um, so, so does something similar to this happen? Just a, a ton of water falls on all sorts of things. It, it's mostly like fertilizer and stuff that helps these things bloom. Is that right? Yeah, well, in... In the case of Florida red tide, this species specifically, these blooms start offshore, which is why okay. in the case of Ian and Irma, when we saw that water being pushed offshore, Tampa Bay, it, it kind of forced an upwelling event where bottom waters, where these cells basically live in the off season, uh, it brings them to the surface and, and close to shore with currents. So, so this is a little bit different of a storm. We don't have that same water pattern, that same wind pattern. Got it. So that's why I'm not making that kind of uh, hypothesis at this point. But Got when it. those blooms are close to shore, that's when that nutrients plays a huge role. We know that, you know, we've, we've already connected it with Lake Okeechobee and with, uh, you know, up north and the nutrient loading from, you know, different human activities like mining. Gotcha. Cool. Um, we're going to jump back to Brandon for a few, uh, but what uh, other things that stood out to you uh, about this storm? Uh, well, what's standing out to me right now is the fact that uh, Jacksonville, I'm worried about Jacksonville. <clears throat> I know that sounds crazy uh, because, you know, we have Cedar Key just being devastated, but but after seeing the storms that have come through Jacksonville and how their stormwater 
is laid out and the delayed flooding and the, I mean, they already had that sunny day flooding just like St. Pete did. And I would imagine that a storm like this will bring a lot of homes underwater. Got it. Okay. Well, we shall, uh, we'll see in the coming hours and days too. So uh, we're going to jump back to Brandon. Tracy, check in with you in a little bit. Thanks. This road is such garbage. around that or is it gotta be cut? You'll be okay. Oh that's beautiful. I was gonna say that's a pit if I've ever seen one. What's that? I said that's a pit if I've ever seen one, my goodness. Yeah, there's a cable line here. I would yeah, we'll fit. I say just don't bottom out on the back end with that rack. Oh, I do all the time. You're clear. That rack bottoms out more times than I can count, dude. <laughs> Hey guys, um, so jumping in here, Reed is, uh, it, it seems like they're not going to get back up. Um, and so you can see there's Brandon above me. Connor has, has wrapped his stream out. Um, so we're going to wrap our, our own out for the day. Uh, but to see um, what you missed, definitely check out the latest video on the channel for the storm surge. Um, it was uh, it was an epic storm surge, for sure. And you can go check out Brandon. Brandon's gonna keep streaming for a while on his own channel, um, and uh, he's gonna keep going out around and dealing with down trees and sawing them and helping out folks and things like that. It sounds like Reed and Andy may be going to check on an elderly woman uh, that's on Cedar Key. So we'll see about that. You could. Watch his Twitter and things like that for the updates. Thank you very much, especially to moderators who got up super early, just like the, the rest of us. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in today. If you're not, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, we're continuing to build and check out, you get to check out Reed's new store online at uh, shopnsc.com. Um, but for now, uh, you know, think about all the people down there that are getting, um, that are really, it, 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 everybody's like, oh, this kind of fell apart as it came on shore. It, there's a lot of damage and it's going to still continue to go on for a while. So think about those folks, find some GoFundMes and things like that. Um, but for today, we say uh, thank you guys very much. We appreciate it and never stop chasing. See you guys soon.